Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. What's up, boys? Welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, we're going to continue right where we left off with uh, episode 2. Um, yeah, anyways. This is... Whoa, what the hell's with my face? I look... I, okay, is it just me or do I look older? I look older, don't I? That's weird. I mean, that's a three years ago. Alright, so switch on the coffee maker. Jeez, look at that weather. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Big TV. This is a pretty nice little place here. Okay. She's in the room I just went by, so I'm gonna kind of explore a little bit. Examine. Fall of Casey, an Alex Casey thriller. The things that I want. Alex Casey. Alex Casey. What I can't forget, Alex Casey. Return to sender, Alex Casey. Wait, is that a QR code? What the hell? Wait, hang on. It's literally a QR code. I don't remember that being there. Oh, I can't get, hang on. Let's see if I can get a better look. Maybe? Let's see what it says. Huh. Turns out this isn't too bad even if you're not sitting on a couch when you play it. Who knew? <laughs> Alright then. I've never seen that. I don't remember that being there. Um, okay. I hear a radio. Ah, that's whatever. Got the manuscript. The sudden stop one. It's true what they say about the fall. And the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Okay. That wasn't, uh... This was a late goodbye. Dramatic. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Jesus. That's dark. Oh, Alan, wait, the sudden stop. Okay, let's go to Alice. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. 
On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. What? Uh, I'm a child. I do not understand these things. Let's see. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get the lights back on now. The please. covers actually do look pretty nice. Uh, use. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Honestly, though, I must I know it's really stupid, suck to have a legitimate fear of the dark. Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Still okay? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. <laughs> nice. So, spoiler alert, I was never married to begin with. That is a big ass fishing rod. All right. Um, I don't think I can interact with anything here. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the oh. corridor. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. <laughs> you know, I've I've not ever been fishing since I was like a small child. I was a kid. However, I hear good things. I know a lot of people absolutely love to go fishing. Okay, so let's talk to Sarah. Whoa, I suddenly started running. Okay. Oh, hey, it's that lady again. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Huh. Okay.
Okay. Oh. Missing Richard Ball, Bruce Dansky, and Jacob Miller. On a camping trip overdue, haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call. Thank you. Hmm. Come in, Mr. Wake. Son of a no. Your phone's on the desk. No. The battery was dead. It's charged now. No, I don't want to continue just yet. I want to explore real quick. I didn't Mr. realize. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Huh. So I wonder if she knows about this weird darkness and everything. I, I'm, I, this third person, like, over the shoulder thing is really annoying. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Damn, so he really is gone. Ah, oh, that poor bastard. He probably didn't even deserve that. Manual script. Alice sees Alice a shadow. Alice the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Well then, so at least we know Alice somehow saw that freaking creepy ass woman. to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. I am going, lady. Okay, I am going. What is that? Is that a raccoon or is that a wait? Is that a bear? What the hell is that thing? Oh no, it's a cat. That's a cat. Huh. Poor thing. That sucks. All right. Your phone, Mr. Wake. What about my phone? What if I don't want my phone? What if I want you to keep it? What are you gonna do about it then? Huh? Huh? Nothing. I won't do nothing. Make sure you don't forget your phone. Fine, I'll take it. Have you started looking well, because I want my to. wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. All right, boys. I mean, that's where I'm going to go and end it for tonight. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.